Good morning. So today I've got two goals in mind. One is to potentially get a full moon shot, but I've never done any type of night sky photography before, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but there is a guy that does know what he's doing, and uh, if you want to check out his Instagram, I'll put a, a little blip up on the screen. You can check out some of his work. It's, it's pretty impressive, so... I'm out here with no clouds at all. We've got a full moon on the horizon. But I'm really hoping that when the sun does come up, we'll get a nice purple glow against the mountains. And my hope is that the moon will set right over the mountains, which it's looking like it's gonna do. I wasn't sure which way it was gonna go, if it was gonna bank a little more to the, to the right or to the left. I've done no planning with this. I just saw low clouds were zero and it was a full moon. So normally I come here to shoot a nice sunrise and I get some beautiful colors, beautiful reflections, nice horizon line. Today's a little bit different. And it was cold out here this morning so there might be some cool frost to photograph. I've never photographed frost before. So I'm just kind of taking a walk out here. Really no planning going into this. But um, I think I think that's the, that's the fun in it for me, you know. It's not always about the killer shot. It's, it's just about getting out and exploring. And then if you do get something great, it's just a bonus. So the second thing I kind of want to try is I've walked past this tree out here, and uh, it is, it's a massive tree. I don't know what kind of tree it is. It might be a cottonwood. The thing's huge. And um, I've never really tried to photograph it. I don't know if it's because I, I feel like the, the wide angle lens distorts it too much, or it's just, it's so much. So I might dedicate a little time to trying to photograph that today. But right now we've got a nice, a pretty cool view. Not an amazing photograph, but we've got a deep blue sky and then it gradually fades into orange. I'll try and uh, flip you around and show you here. But I do kind of want to get a move on because I we've got Pike's Peak in the background here. And the moon is coming down this way. I think it was maybe three months ago. I was driving, um, just, just heading to work and the, the moon kind of crested right in between the two peaks. I think it's, um, I want to say it's Mount Meeker and Long's Peak. I could be wrong though, so don't take my word for that. But the moon was sat right in the middle of it and it looked amazing with a nice purple glow from a, a no cloud sunrise. So that's what I'm really hoping for this morning. Um, yeah, we'll get a little walk on and see what we can do. I was waiting for that uh, sun to come up a little bit more. Man, it's beautiful, isn't it? I just wanted to talk about aperture real quick and how you can use it to your advantage in a low light situation. So the way that I think about aperture, the way that I remember it easiest is a lower aperture value is actually letting more light into your camera sensor. A higher aperture value is going to let less light in. So the other thing I always want to remember too is that a higher aperture value like for example f14 f16 is going to give you more depth of field you're going to be able to get more in focus in your image from front to back whereas if i'm shooting at f2.8 i'm only going to be able to get a little bit of a of a depth of field it's going to be really shallow depth of field and then you have to get a little creative with trying to get everything in focus and everything sharp and um there's tons of videos and if you'd like i could um I could put a video up on how to do that. 
But you do have to get a little creative with trying to get everything in focus when you're shooting at a really low aperture, if that's something you want. Now, sometimes you like to have just the, just the subject in focus and have everything gradually fall off into a softer focus. So yeah, two things to remember. Lower aperture value means more light. Higher, higher aperture value means less light. So I think of it as a little pinhole um, in between my camera's lens and the sensor. When I put the number up, the pinhole gets smaller. If I put the number down, the pinhole gets bigger. So just a quick tip on aperture. I don't know. I don't know if this, the moon's gonna make it over there in time, to be honest. It's got a long ways to go, and the sun is starting to get there now. It's 7 o'clock. I think sunrise is actually set for 7.22. So I may just try taking a few here like this, um, seeing if I can get a good crop on there. It's still kind of cool, and I've never done moon photography, so let's give it a shot. Alright, change of plan. Well, not totally. I did take a shot of the moon, so I did say what I... I did do what I set out to do. But I do think that might be something I need to do. Just a little bit more planning than I did currently. But this frost is beautiful, and the light is still pretty soft. Um, it snowed recently, so things are looking pretty, pretty. They're looking pretty, pretty. I mean, look at that. So I'm gonna see if I can't set up for maybe a low composition here and, and just try to feature this frost a little bit. And um, like I said, the background light is still fairly soft. So we'll have a play at this. just follow the quick tips today. So another thing that you can do uh, before you decide to commit to a composition is you can actually take your phone out and um, you can you can throw the grids, you know, the rule of thirds grids onto your phone. And if you are using a wide angle lens, you can turn on, most phones nowadays do have a wide angle lens built into them. So you can flip that on and kind of play with the distortion and see what you want to do with it um, before you before you get committed and set up. Now the only issue I'm having here with uh, with this frost is it's busy. It's really busy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep hunting around here because this does look pretty cool. sun started to come up everything got this this shine this red glow and I've just been playing around with um, the low shrubbery and um, trying to catch all that all that glow and sparkle that's that's created by the frost and the and the bright sun I also took a couple of shots shooting off into this meadow now I tried a different technique too with it um, I think it'll look really good because you've got all these little shadows and I've even got a little bit of a leading line heading right into the sun. Now this could be a total wash, but um, I also, speaking of aperture earlier, funny because this is the first time I've done this, is, is I closed up my aperture, so I shot at f22. So as I said before, you've got that pinhole, which is how I think of aperture. So think about it like this, right? We've closed up that pinhole so tight and we're shooting into the sun. So now we're gonna get that starburst effect because you've got so much light coming through such a small spot um, in your lens hitting your sensor. 
So I think that might look really cool. I'll definitely have to do a little bit in um, post-processing, but I'm really excited to try it out. I mean, it's a cold morning, but it is beautiful. And um, I almost didn't get up. I only got about, you know, three hours of sleep, but how can you turn this down? So on to the tree. We're gonna go try to photograph the big tree over there. That tree owns this lake, all right? Now, I'm definitely gonna come back here and photograph it because I think the best of the light is gone. Um, it's gonna be really contrasty. And uh, you know how much I love a blue sky. So I'll do a little bit of uh, scouting around the tree and really try to get to the root of it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. And if you'd like to you know, see more tutorials, or if you just like the on-location vlogs, or if you have any questions, or, you know, your comments are welcome, so feel free. Um, I really appreciate the support that I've been getting, and uh, it gives me the motivation to come out here and continue to make the videos, so thanks a lot, and um, I'll see you on the next adventure, so I'll catch you later. Look at this tree!